Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here, something a little bit different. I'm gonna be taking you guys through the plastic coating system that the neighbors of my workshop do. So these guys here needed something painted in some two-pack paints, so they decided to come over and get me to paint it for them. When I was finished, I dropped it off and I said, hey mate, do you mind if I poke my head in and just make a bit of a video for my YouTube followers? And he said, that's fine, mate, no dramas. So he got his worker, this guy here, um, and he just run through the system with me and showed me exactly what they do so this oven you see here is a curing oven and the one that you saw just a minute ago that's a pre-baking oven so before you put anything into this bath here which you can see they're using yellow this time um, that is just basically um, finely granulated uh, plastic powder um, and then they need to aerate it so that you can actually dip the part inside it Otherwise, it wouldn't actually um, dive inside there. It'd just probably sit on the top. Um, so that's just at room temperature. And then it's still quite powdery. And it's got, like, it looks like lumps of dust in it once it goes in there. Um, and then it will um, flow out once it gets baked in that secondary oven. And I'll take you guys through that secondary baking and final curing stage while we're waiting for this first batch to pre-bake. Obviously you want to be wearing all of your personal protective equipment when doing stuff like this. I was only in there for the best part of 10 minutes without a respirator. I walked out and I was just about falling over myself. I was a little bit giddy and lightheaded. Okay, so I'll break this system down in layman's terms. Everybody knows what happens when you heat up plastic. It melts, right? So that's exactly what they're doing here. They're heating up the part, putting it into plastic, plastic melts onto the part, bake it again to smooth that finish out. It's really as simple as that. So there he goes, he's just stacking all those parts in there. Obviously he's made sure they had little bits of wire on there that he's able to hook onto that second oven. So next up, we're coming up to our little timer. He's just gonna set that one for four minutes. Um, that may vary, I guess, depending on what kind of parts they're using, but I'm not sure. This isn't something that I'm professional at. I was just going through the system with this guy, asking him questions as we went along, and he was uh, happy to answer. So there you go, there's the 348 degrees for four minutes that we're baking, pre-baking them for. And then we'll go through to the previous um, batch that he's got baking at the moment and we'll pull them out. If anyone feels that I've missed any pieces of information out of this video, if there's anything that you can add, um, be sure to ask questions or post comments in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Vine, Facebook, all that stuff. There's uh, links in the description below. So here we go with this previous batch that's already been baked. Um, I think it was only about four or five minutes that they got baked for. Um, and then you've got these big fans that are set up to help them cool down. And I'll give you guys a look at the finished product. It's definitely been pretty cool to get the opportunity to make this video because it's something different than I usually do. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it was the first time I've even seen this process um, in the flesh. So yeah, as you see here, the air blowers, uh, the big fans are set up there and this is the baking oven in there. So it must get pretty warm in there. He doesn't actually have a thermometer in there as far as I know, he couldn't give me 100% um, accuracy on how warm it gets in there. And this right here is the finished product. So um, look, it's not quite as good as two-pack as far as the finish goes. Um, there's a couple of tiny little bits of imperfections in it and stuff like that. I think I could get a cleaner overall finish with two-pack, but this is definitely a very good uh, coating over the top of it. It's going to protect it very well and I can imagine it would hold up to um, probably chips and scratches a little bit better than what your two-pack paint would. Um, from memory, I think he said these are some sort of a light fitting, but here we are doing the process of getting the coating on. So you may have noticed he just pulled them out of the preheating oven with the hook, dipped it into that um, aerated plastic bath, pulled it out, got the air pressure onto it, just a low setting of air pressure. It might have only been, say, 5 PSI, just to get any of the powdery dust off it. And then he puts it in the final baking oven, 
um, which will uh, flow all of that powder out. Um, you'll get the opportunity to have a look at it before it goes into that final bake just to here in a second. And it really is very powdery, very coarse. It's a te pretty terrible finish if you were to just leave it like that without actually putting it into this uh, final bake. But that just about wraps this video up anyway. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as much as what I've enjoyed making it because I sure did have a bit of fun making this one. Don't forget to show your support to my channel by hitting that thumbs up button. Be sure to check out these other two vids I've got at the end. Otherwise, check out my channel. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.